Hello traders community. Today we are going to discuss about market structure and fractality of the market. This is the most important part of this concept. Everyone should know market structure. Market structure as a concept is nothing new and has been around for as long as financial markets themselves. Market structure is the framework or structure that any given market is currently trading in. Market structure can help you understand the behavior, condition, and current flow of the market. It highlights some points of interest, swing highs and swing lows. Market structure can be broadly classified into three distinct categories. It can be either bullish, bearish, or in a range. Let's begin with the bullish structure. We speak of a bullish structure when the swing highs in the market are broken and the swing lows are protected. Price is creating higher highs and higher lows. The bearish structure is simply the opposite of bullish structure. The swing lows are broken and the swing highs are protected. Price is creating lower lows and lower highs. Finally, we have the ranging structure. Market makers are creating equal highs and equal lows simultaneously in order to accumulate retail positions. Let's move on now to the chart to see some real examples and get the difference. This is an example from the chart. As you can see, the structure is bearish because price is forming lower lows and lower highs. In this second chart example, we have a bullish structure because price is forming higher highs and higher lows. In this third example, price is creating equal lows and equal highs. So we are in a ranging market structure. The trend is your friend. This is one of the most popular expressions in the trading world. And for a good reason. If you can use market structure to identify a trend, more often than not, the price will continue in the same direction going forward. Do not trade against the market structure. You will get out of the market any time you do. So what's the best time frame to identify market structure? Market structure appears across all time frames and different time frames often display different market structures. Basically, we analyze market structure in higher time frames, weekly, daily, 4 and 1 hour and execute the orders in lower time frames, 15, 5 and 1 minute, to minimize risk and increase accuracy. Let's move on now to the break of structure. A bullish break of structure occurs when a green candle breaks the high of the previous swing high and forming a higher high. A bearish break of structure occurs when a red candle breaks the low of the previous low and forming a lower low. Note that the break of structure occurs also with the wicks, not exclusively the bodies of the candles. In this figure, this is the green candle that broke this swing high forming a bullish break of structure. And here this is the red candle that broke the previous low forming a bearish break of structure. Swing highs and lows are an important element to identify market structure. So what are the swing highs and lows? Swing highs and lows are formed by three consecutive candles. The swing highs are formed when the middle candle made the highest high of the three ones. And swing lows are formed when the middle candle made the lowest low of the three ones. So let's see a figure example to understand more the swing highs and lows. A swing high is formed by three consecutive candles. The high of the first candle is violated by the second one. The third candle is forming a lower high than the second one. A swing low is also formed by three consecutive candles. The low of the first candle is violated by the second one. And the third candle is forming a higher low than the second one. How to use swing highs and swing lows in your trading? There are many ways to use the swing high and swing low in your day-to-day -day trading strategies. For one, the swing high and low method can be applied to identify the trends in the market. The swing highs and lows are considered as high liquidity levels because traders are putting stop losses there. So in a bullish trend, we wait for the retracement to happen after a bullish break of structure to set a long position. 
The target will be the previous swing high as a level of high liquidity. And inversely for the bearish trend, we wait for the price to get into a point of interest after a bearish break of structure to put a short position. The target will be the previous swing low as a high liquidity level. Let's move on now to the fractality of the market. Your analysis of market structure is closely related to which time frame are you looking to. The definition of the daily bias may be for example bullish. But when you go to a smaller time frame, you may find another trend inside the biggest one. We are talking about fractality of the market. So let me clear things for you. Here we have the 4 hour Nasdaq chart. We are creating each time lower lows so obviously we are in a bearish trend. Once we move to the smallest time frame 15 minutes for example, you may be confused because we have a bullish trend and market is creating each time a higher high. Therefore, smallest time frame bullish bias was just a retracement of the highest time frame bearish trend. At the level of this third expansion, we see a bullish trend on 15 minute time frame chart. This expansion was nothing but a simple retracement of the higher time frame bearish trend. So the higher time frame serves as an overall market trend, while smaller time frames will only confirm our position. Other thing to mention, most of traders commit a big mistake. They will open the chart directly on 5 or 15 minutes and they will spot a long entry for example at the level of this double bottom without checking the higher time frame bias. The price will trade low and hit their stop loss simply because it was just the end of retracement. Here is an example from the chart. Retail traders will take a short position once they spot this double top on 15 minute time frame. However, the bias is clearly bullish on higher time frame. One hour for example. As a smart money trader, we will recognize this point of interest as a long potential entry because the bias is bullish and we will wait for the retracement to happen before taking our trade. We already know that liquidity has been created on purpose by big banks with this pattern of double top, so we will target this high liquidity area.